so this trick uh, will give you approximate value for your return uh, time which will take for you to get a particular return so suppose if you have investment of i and you want this investment to grow to 3i uh, after certain time t and uh, the rate of interest right now so rate uh, is r so by using this trick we can calculate how much time will it take and the trick is simple so the trick is that you take a number 115 and you divide it by r and that will give you the time uh, for invest for investment to be three times so three times so for example if uh, interest rate uh, is 10% uh, then uh, time will be equal to 11.5 years so this is the approximate time if uh, interest rates are uh, 1% then time would be equal to 115 years so um, why this happens so let's try to solve this uh, problem with the um, with the general solution general approach the general approach is to uh, have your investment and we multiply this investment uh, with the uh, interest rate and uh, each year it is compounded so we have is to power t and that should be equal to 3i because we are looking for investment to grow three times so in that case um, your i uh, will cancel out and uh, we're left with uh, 1 plus r is to power t is equal to 3 so if we solve this equation we can take log on both sides so if we take log uh, 1 plus r t is equal to uh, log of 3 so t is equal to log of 3 divided by log of 1 plus r so let's try to solve uh, this equation in excel so if i go to excel i can say suppose r is my rate and we have the rate where is from 2 3 4 and uh, our uh, uh, time will be equal to log of 3 divided by log of 1 plus uh, rate right so this should be our time so now we can keep Extending this rate to suppose 13 percent and we can calculate the time for investment to be three times for all this years so that's that's uh, how we get the time so now if you multiply time with the rate so that will be equal to time into rate so this is equal to 110 which is very close to 115 so we can keep extending this and you can see that all our numbers are very close to 115 so this is uh, what uh, we can that's why we can approximate uh, the time by just uh, using 115 as a reference and dividing it by the rate you can also do it with the 114 but uh, somehow this trick got the name of 115 so let's uh, try to see what if we use we have used the trick what should be the time so the time uh, using trick would be like this so we have uh, uh, 115 divided by rate so that's 57.5 years so if you can keep extending it it's like this so if you compare anything uh, like for six years it says 18.85 years but our trick says 19.16 years so it it is a good approximation uh, so this uh, is very close it's 111.52 and this is 11.5 so if you use uh, this trick 
uh, we we don't get the exact number we but we get the approximate uh, approximation uh, for the time it should take and that could be very handy when you are thinking about different investments and uh, you want to get a quick sense uh, or can want to get quick numbers in your mind so i hope this uh, video helps and uh, i'll try to make more videos and uh, we'll see you again thank you